How's it going everyone? Chemist here and today we are going to pick right back up on our Pokemon Crystal 2.0 ROM hack walkthrough. So let's go ahead and do a team recap real quick. Uh, do a little bit of grinding off screen. So we got Electabuzz here, uh, got her up to level 30 and we got Bruce. Uh, didn't do much with him, he's still level 32. Oh, real quick. This is going to be super satisfying, guys. So I arranged Electabuzz's moves to where the letters kind of like arc diagonally to the left. It is so satisfying. Okay, off topic. <laughs> I'm just OCD like that. Uh, we got Dexter here, level 31. Uh, we got Squirt, level 32. Fireball, level 32. And Sinister, level 33. So everyone is 30 or above in our party. So we've got a, a pretty solid team here. Uh, I have a lot of faith in our ability to win battles from this point on. Okay, so today is Monday. Um, so what we're going to do really quick is we're going to hop over here and go visit Monica of Monday and get our item. Glad to meet you. I'm Monica of Monday. As a token of our friendship, I have a gift for you. Chemist received Sharp Beak. Okay. Put the Sharp Beak in the item pocket. It's an item that raises the power of flying type moves. You should equip a bird Pokemon with that item. So that's that's the whole point of the, the Day of the Week sibling twins. Uh, what they do is you go to them on a specific day, and they give you a, a held item that powers up a certain typing, and it will be a boost of 20% in this game. So it's, it's pretty substantial. So what we're actually going to do real quick is we are going to take away the Quick Claw from Bruce because Bruce is already really, really fast. Um, it doesn't need it anymore. And we are actually going to give it that uh, Sharp Beak because that'll power up uh, Fly for us. Um, and just to, just to recap for you guys, if I go to Bruce and check out his move, you can see I boosted the power of Fly to be a power of 90. So, so Fly is a very, very good move in this game. Um, you, you aren't being penalized for, for teaching a Pokemon that move so that way you know it uh, in order to like make your game play more enjoyable. So speaking of Fly, let's go ahead and do that. And let's fly to Yucatec. Oh yeah, okay. Another side note, uh, Yucatec City has some of, like, it has to be one of my favorite um, soundtracks for the city. It's like a really, really pretty song. Like, they did a very, very good job with this soundtrack, but this one, this one in particular, I, I really, really like this song. Okay, so on to Route 42. Oh, we got an item here. It's an Ultra Ball. It, it never ceases to surprise me when those items are like actually balls, you know, like because they use the Pokeball little item uh, icon for, for every item. So I just get caught off guard every time I, I see that. So um, you can go inside this cave if you want. It's Mount Mortar. Um, but I'm actually going to run away real quick because uh, it's it's just quicker to, to surf across through here. But if you guys are interested in catching the baby Pokemon Tyrogue that evolves either into Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, or Hitmonchan based off its stats, uh, you can go into that cave and, and get uh, Hitmon, or I mean Tyrogue, uh, in, in there. So definitely do that if either of those three fighting Pokemon interest you. Okay. Cool seeking. All right. So let's go on through here. And I think, yeah, dang, there's Suicune right there, but I, I don't have my Paris with me right now that knows Cut. I'll come back and encounter Suicune, because um, we're, we're very close to the next town. So, oh, cool, we got a Super Potion. So let's go ahead and Surf. Okay. Oh, so close. Dang. Alrighty. Okay. So if you guys notice, I just sent out Electabuzz, right? So, you know, it, it's still on the table. Whoever goes, whoever comments first in these last three videos, you know, the, the video starting to where I caught Electabuzz, you can comment on that one or any of the recent episodes uh, with, with a nickname for Electabuzz, and, and, and 
you'll get to name the Pokemon. Uh, no, no one's done it yet, but yeah, you, you should do that. Capitalize on this moment. Be, be the one to nickname that Pokemon. So that way, I like to be able to feel part of the team, you know. So it can be something nostalgic. It can be something funny. It can be something cool. Like like you know, just just whatever you're thinking. Okay, 385 XP. Fisher Tully. You know what? I think I can talk to him and get his phone number. I'm going to become the trainer champ using the Pokemon I caught. That's the best part of fishing. Hey, you're trying to be the ultimate trainer too. Then we're comrades. If I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. So I'm pretty sure Kim, uh, Tully, Fisher, Fisherman Tully right here, um, I think he gives you a water stone, if I, if I remember correctly. Hey, it's Dana. You know what? I got a good gift. As I promised, it's yours. I'm sure you'd like it. Come get it. Uh, waiting on Route 38. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, well, now we have two things to do. So how about this? Let's, um, let's make our way to to um, Blackthorn. We'll use the Poke Center to heal our squad up. And then we will fly to Route 38 and get that item from Dana. And we will... Um, Hmm, okay, I need arena. Okay. So let's see here. Let's do Ice Punch. Ice Punch has like the coolest animation. It looks so cool. Okay. Uh and then and then we'll surf back to Blackthorn. And we will encounter Suicune. Okay. Yeah, Ice Punch looks so dope. Cool. Alright. Man, he's about to have a, uh, he's about to have a Nitto, Nitto Queen and a Nitto King. This is one of the very few playthroughs that I haven't used Nitto King on my team. Nitto King is a really good go-to for me. And I think the next time I do a playthrough of a game, I, I will use Nitto Queen, because I've never played through with Nitto Queen before, but she looks super cool. So... I think I might do that next time I do a playthrough. But I, I wanted to use Crobat this time because Crobat's one of my favorite Pokemon. So. Okay, Tough Trio. But I've done a good job this time, this playthrough of using Pokemon I, I usually don't use because uh, I've never done a playthrough of Pokemon Crystal with Blastoise because that used to not really be something that was super easily done. And then I've also never done a playthrough with Electabuzz, either. Again, it's very hard to catch Electabuzz in this game, uh, normally. So, so that's two Pokemon that I usually never use. Man, Ice Punch looks so cool! It did such a good job with this game. Okay. Hiker Benjamin. Alrighty. So, let's speed on through here. Oh, Mahogany Town, my bad. We're not at Blackthorn yet. I, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, so let's heal the squad up. Okay. Excellent. So also in the, in the recent days, uh, I've actually gained two subscribers. Like, that is just, that's just blowing my mind that, like, two people want to stick around with the channel. That's, uh, that blows my mind. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled. So, hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough as much as I am uh, recording it and playing through. I just, I, and I hope you guys are playing along with me with either my ROM hack, if you want to give it a spin, or regular Pokemon Crystal, if you're just not a big, you know, hack person, because there's a lot of people who aren't. Uh, or any Pokemon game, really. Just, um, you know, I hope you're playing along. So, real quick, let's go to Route 38. And I think Dana's somewhere up here. I think she's right here. Here we go. Hi, are you here for the gift? This should really make your day. Gave me the freaking Thunderstone. Okay. Dang. Okay. Go, Dana. Very much worth getting her phone number. Okay. So we're in your critique, so now we're going to do two things. First off, uh, when I was grinding up my team a little bit off camera, I caught um, two shiny Pokemon off screen. So that's awesome. So first off, let's deposit really quick. Um, 
this is it, it doesn't matter we're just going to deposit them like just just temporarily so let's deposit electabuzz okay and then we need um, okay yeah so here we go so caught uh, a shiny tentacle and a shiny kangaskhan guys while i was training god like what are the odds yeah so if you guys like shiny pokemon in this game, you don't run into them so often to where it, it makes seeing them not super exciting. But if in this game, if you want a shiny Pokemon, it, it's actually doable, which is which was the whole goal um, for me here. Okay, so now that we've got that, we've got uh, Francine. She can cut. Let's go encounter Suicune real quick. Do 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 do. Gotta do a little battle. Okay. Oh, Bruce is up front. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh let's do sludge bomb. That's a cool animation. Bruce has a really, really cool back sprite. Bruce is gonna be hard to beat unless you're out because I am or Espeon. Okay, so let's see here. Let's cut this tree. And let's Suicune do its thing. Okay. Uh, those are just Apricorns. You can give those to Kurt if you want him to make some Pokeballs for you. Uh, but now that we've encountered Suicune, uh, I am just going to fly to Mahogany Town. God, I cannot believe I called that Blackthorn. Gosh, so disappointed in myself. Okay. So... As nice as it was to catch up with Francine, let's uh, let's put her back home. <laughs> okay, and let us withdraw Electabuzz. Okay, so cool. We got Electabuzz back in the team. Um, also, you know how I have the custom Pokemon sprites within the menu? Electabuzz is, is so cool. The people who made these did a phenomenal job. Um, it was a group called, uh, uh, a guy named Chamber, and other people helped him as well, so it was really Chamber at all. Uh, but, and you know, they, they they just knocked those out of the park. They look so, so good. Okay, so here's Mahogany Town. For those, for those of you who don't know, um, you can't do too, too much, right? If you try to leave Mahogany Town, this dude will stop you. And... Um, He'll ask you if you want to buy a Rage Candy Bar, and it's only $300, right? Even if you buy it, he won't let you leave, okay? And then also, this dude blocks the gym. So what you have to do first in this town is you have to go up to the Lake of Rage. So, when you get here on Route 43, there's two ways you can go. You can go through the grass, or you can go through this little box right here. If you go through the house, the gate, you, you have to pay money, because Rocket has taken it over. So I suggest you guys go through the grass because you'll get to battle Pokemon and train yours up. And there's trainers there, so you'll make some money and you don't have to spend anything. So that's just what I suggest you guys do. Okay, what up, Bruce? Let's do this. Okay. I think I'm going to stop training Bruce. I need to move him out of the first place because he's already really, really strong. Um, but th this being a sand slash, I'm going to give Squirt some experience. Sand slash looks cool too. Okay, so let's do Surf. Excellent. Oh, dang, Squirt got a decent amount of XP there, okay. And he's got a Zubat. So, <laughs> Zubat looks cool. Oh, baby Bruce. Back in the day. Okay. 219 XP. So, guys, uh, Lake of Rage. Uh, we're actually, this is where we're going to catch our shiny Gyarados. Oh, there's an item over there, too. We need to go get that on our way back. Freaking centric. Get that raccoon out of my face. Oh, okay, I'm glad that we did this, too, so that way I can move Bruce out of... Uh, let's see. 
Who are we going to train, guys? Um, let's keep training Squirt. Uh, let's switch him with Bruce. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I want to keep training Squirt because I would like to have a Blastoise pretty soon. That would be really nice. Okay, we got a couple Fairy. Let's see if we can get some flinch hacks. Dang. Okay. That's fine. That's a good move to have on cord. Dang, if, each, if all these trainers just have one Pokemon, we won't be evolving Squirt anytime soon. Oh, hey, a far-fetched. Look at that. Let's use Surf. Get that stab bonus. Boom. Okay, there we go. I think this dude has like a Nidoking or something. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? Yeah, I think I got some pretty rare ones. Okay, let's see. Oh, he has a tongue. Okay. Lickitung might live through this. Lickitung has some bulk. Yeah, there we go. And it's going to use Stomp, but luckily Squirt has good defenses. Okay, cool, cool. Dang, eleven hundred dollars, man. He was, he was bathing in the money, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, Pidgeotto. Okay. Go ahead and battle that. Get a little bit of XP. So when you guys play through on your Pokemon Crystal games, did you ever use the, the Gyarados as your water Pokemon if you had a water Pokemon on your team? Or did you just kind of box him? Um, I'm a pretty big fan of Gyarados. I thought Gyarados was really, really cool. So I would usually use Gyarados. Oh, there's the dude with the Nido King. Okay, I wasn't crazy. God, the Gen 2 sprites just look so freaking cool. Just so, so cool. I love the art style in this game. Okay, Nido King down. Squirrel's level 33, let's go. And it's trying to learn Rain Dance. Um, let's see, what moves we got here? Um, Rain Dance. Uh, I'm not gonna learn it. Oh, crap. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Protect. Okay, he's got a Pokemon too. I love Pokemon. That's why I started. And I'll keep collecting Pokemon. Hey, me too. Okay. A bunch of po a lot of Pokemaniacs. Okay. Slowbro, okay. Slowbro is really cool. Don't know if the bite will be strong enough to take him out. No. Dang, and we didn't get any flinches, but he used water. <laughs> oh, freaking slow bro. Okay. Remember, guys, if you want to get a, um, a slow king, um, at this point in the game, you have surf now, so you can go back to Azalea Town and surf in the slowpoke well and find um, the item to, to do that. So in this house right here is a lady who is... Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's a story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively magic harp there, but I don't understand what's happening. 
So this house right here is actually where, after you catch the shiny Gyarados, you can catch Magikarp and bring them to her, and she'll measure them. And apparently if you get a long enough Gyarados, she gives you an item. But the, the calculation for the length of the Magikarp is absolutely insanely complicated. I will have a link in this video description to a, uh, a another hacker that's that's quite large in the po in the Gen two hacking community. His name's Crystal, and he has a video explaining the mechanics behind that measurement system. If you guys want to see anything else about it, because it's truly ridiculous. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake, but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Okay, so so yeah, so let me make sure I've got some Pokeballs. Let's see here. Okay, we got one Ultra Ball and 11 Great Balls. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see. I think I'll use Electabuzz for the battle. No, no, I'll use, I'll use Sinister. Because Sinister's really bulky. Okay, so let's go and catch the shiny red Gyarados. And of course, we're gonna learn to run into like a freaking magic heart. Oh, it's another Der Gyarados, dang. <laughs> okay. You know what, I think I think I might actually, might actually take on this battle because that's gonna be decent XP. And let's use a quick attack. Cool. Yeah, got almost 500 XP from a level 15 Gyarados, okay? Gyarados, Gishkaga! You're all very welcome for that. Okay. Boom! Shiny Gyarados. And it's level 30, so he's going to be able to do some damage. So I'm just going to start spamming some sand attacks. So maybe that way he won't instantly kill Sinister. So I'll get like three off. Oh, dang. His defense isn't going to matter here. He's just going to keep using Dragon Rage. Okay. I got three sand attacks off. All right. So let's go ahead and start doing Pursuit. Dang, that did nothing, did it? Okay. Hmm, maybe I can use Electabuzz and get an Ice Punch off. Dang, Thrash is still hitting, even with those three sand attacks. Okay, Ice Punch. Oh, and he's confused now. Okay. Oh, dang, he might kill himself. Uh, okay, I'll do one more Ice Punch. It'd be really cool if I could freeze him. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, cool, cool. So let's cross our fingers here, guys. Whoo! First try! Oh my gosh, that's the first... Is that the first time we've caught a Pokemon on our first try in this game? Oh, man, and it was a shiny Gyarados. Oh, man. Can I get a light, guys? Heck yes. Okay, and we've now got a shiny Gyarados. Uh, we're not going to use it for the playthrough, so we're just going to send it to the PC. And we got the red scale, too. Okay, good. We're going to go get the experience share now. Okay, cool, cool. Um, That's Lance. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. It's like a spoiled Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're a chemist? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came up to investigate. I saw the way you bowed about your chemist. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yes. Lance, excellent. It seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, chemist. Okay, so he's going to go to Mahogany. Cool. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use Bruce, and I am going to fly to Cherry Grove. So, first things first, let's heal the squad up. 
Okay. Good, good, okay, excellent. So all healed up. Now, let us go to Mr. Pokemon's house. I was about to say, if we made it through all that grass without, without running into a Pokemon, that would've been crazy. Okay. I'm not even gonna do it. Not even gonna do it. Okay, here we go. Cool. Hmm, that scale. What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I I want it. Chemist, would you care to trade it? I can offer this experience share I got from Professor Oak. Yes, I will gladly take that. Chemist put the experience share in the item pocket. Life is a delight. Always discoveries to be made. Okay, cool. So, let us go get that experience share. And let's give it to, um, let's give it to Squirt. So that way we can get our Blastoise quicker. Okay, cool. So now we can go to Bruce and fly to Mahogany Town. Cool. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is, uh, okay, so the next part of this playthrough is actually going to be quite lengthy. I mean, I got to battle all Team Rocket. They take over this basement of this shop right here. And um, so, yeah, so the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like what I did last time. I'll end this episode here and make it shorter. The episode following this one, I'll make it quite lengthy because what will happen is I'll beat Team Rocket in this basement, and then I'll have to go to Golden Rod as well. So I'll do both those in that episode, and that episode's probably going to be close to a little over an hour. So I'll end this one and make it a little bit shorter, so that way I can hopefully get you guys to stick with me for the next episode. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Um, keep coming back if it's something you're interested in, and um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.